Well, hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I am a regular dude walking in the word. Hey, we're um, concluding today the whole story of the um, Egyptian army going into the Red Sea and them all drowning and the people are saved. Okay. Actually, the, the next chapter, chapter 15, is more of a conclusion because it's the singing and uh, the singing after it. Okay. Back when I was in uh, high school, we had, we played, I played soccer. And when we, we went to the state tournament and um, we went to the districts and we won districts and that was down in Fort Myers, you know, from Sarasota, all the way back, we were singing. Okay. I mean, it's like the whole way back we were singing. And um, that's what's going to happen. You're going to see as we look at it tomorrow they're breaking out in the song because of what the Lord has done for them. Today I want to focus on, um, this is Exodus 14, uh, verses 26, all the way to the end of the chapter, which is verse 31. And it's entitled, The People Put Their Trust in the Lord. We saw how yesterday that um, it was evidence to the people of Egypt, to the Egyptian soldiers, that the Lord was on the side of the Israelites and um, they were going to be defeated because the wheels quit working okay all those things start to add up and when those wheels quit working it's kind of the last thing like uh oh wheels quit working we're concluding the story today and you'll see that the the egyptians are destroyed but the people put their trust in god because they witnessed this whole thing okay them coming in hot pursuit and it looks like they were all going to be killed but then the seas open up and you know they're saved and then they close up on the Egyptians. Let's read. This is uh, verses 26. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea so that the waters may flow back over the Egyptians and their chariots and the horsemen. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and at daybreak the sea went back to its place. The Egyptians were fleeing towards it, and the Lord swept them into the sea. The water flowed back and covered the chariots and horsemen. The entire army of Pharaoh that had followed the Israelites Israelites into the sea not one of them survived okay now imagine this they're pursuing the Israelites uh, on a you know a dry patch of ground in the middle of the Red Sea and the Bible tells us there was wall of water on each side a wall not a little not a little you know thing a few inches but it was a wall of water on each side when that is released the force of all that coming down upon you um, you know, could knock you out or whatever, but it's definitely going to mess you up. The force of all that water coming down on you and the mass confusion of you being swept up and knocked around into your chariots and into your horses. If that doesn't kill you, you're probably, you're going to drown. And then the drowning, you could, you're thinking, oh man, they could swim. Probably not swim real well with, with the, all their armor on. Okay. And, uh, being all armored up, um, they'd sink like, uh, uh, a brick, you know, so that that's what's happening here. Verse 29, but the Israelites went through the sea on dry ground with a wall of water on their right and on their left. That day, the Lord saved Israel from the hands of the Egyptians and Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the shore. And when the Israelites saw the mighty hand of the Lord displayed against the Egyptians, the people feared the Lord and put their trust in him and in Moses, his servant. OK, all this takes place. The Lord allows all this to take place. And in the end, it's to help the Israelites have faith in God. And they can see they like you would think they would trust God all the rest of their lives. Uh, they don't. Um, but you would think they would be after witnessing this, the tremendous uh, salvation from Pharaoh's army here and the way the waters um, opened up and then it came back down on them. Um, but it was e evidence of how great God is. All right. So God will allow things like this to happen, not necessarily you going through the Red Sea and all that, but he's going to allow things to happen. And part of him allowing those things to happen to you is for you to experience the mighty work of God and for you to have your faith put in God. Okay. If it was just easy peasy going through life and you never had any hard times, well, there's a good chance you wouldn't put your faith in God, but God is, is showing how great he is through this whole thing. All right. 
Thank you for watching. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we jump into chapter 15 of Exodus. Lord's blessing. I'll see you then.